Okay, at this point right now, there's, uh, from what I understand, there's, uh, there's a position where you can get it up just far enough called a service position. I'm not sure how far we can get back, maybe not very far, but uh, I think we're going to try that position first to see how accessible things are. Then there's another position where we could probably move this thing out probably uh, half a meter. And in doing that, that is a lot more stuff to take off. And we're talking about disconnecting headlights, uh, radiator hoses, uh, you know, a slew of other stuff here. So I think what we're going to try here, since I've never taken this off before, is we're just going to look at the minimum amount of stuff to take off to get back. Then we'll see what kind of access we have. If it's not enough, then we'll go to the next uh, step and start taking off more stuff here. Now, I can already tell that somebody has been in here taking this off because I can see where the bolt alignment holes here is uh, off from where it used to be. So to put this thing back to where it was and not being familiar with this, and I'm wanting everything to line back up, the hood latch and you know, making sure the fender cover is gonna line back up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark these bolts here. So I'm just gonna spray paint them so I can see where to get these things lined back up. So I've got one right here. I've got another bolt down here. And I got a couple of more bolts down here on this end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of put a little spray there. And I'll put a little bit down here also. Okay. We also have a couple of bolts up here. Now this is where I can tell you, look right here, you can see, you see how this bolt is actually further back in this slot here? So you can see that this bolt looked like it was up here at the top because you can see some of the paint is worn off. Now, again, doesn't, doesn't seem to be any problem with alignment before, so I'm gonna try to get this thing back to where it was. Okay, we also have another bolt over here on the passenger side so I'm just gonna put a rag right there just catch any overspray so I don't get it on the bottle there okay yeah a little bit more okay that looks good like I said I just want to know where these bolts are at before I start taking these things out okay the service manual is saying that for this hood latch we have to disconnect two things all right, if you take a look right here, you can see there's a micro switch. Micro switch has a cable. You can see the cable is running out and coming out and it wants us to disconnect this cable. All right, the other thing that it wants us to do is as a cable that goes back inside the car, right? They call this a, they call this a Bowden cable. So we're gonna disconnect this here cable also. All right, the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and disconnect. Let's get uh, to disconnect this electrical connector. Now, if you follow it out, this electrical cable is going to go out. It's going to go out past here. And it's going to come down behind. <clears throat> you can, you're not going to see it, but it's going to come out. It's going to come out. It's going to come over here. And you can see it is coming out over here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this here cable. Now, you got, your, you got your latch right here that holds it. Take your screwdriver, kind of put it in there. What you want to do is kind of push down on it a little bit. While you're holding it down, pulls right apart. Okay, so there's one. Now, let's see if we can't get this here. Steel cable disconnected. All right, if you see here's a steel cable that we're going to disconnect from this hood latch. Now if you notice there's a ball on the end, now there's a slot that's cut into this here bracket. Now the open end of this slot that we got to get this ball out is back here towards the back. I'm not, gonna be sh I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ball, carry it out, carry it out through the slot where it's open, and then it'll free this here cable up from this here, from this here mechanism right here. So I got a pair of needle nose pliers. I need a little bit more light. And it is not very accessible in here. So I'll try to get a screwdriver in there also. Oh man. 
great engineering, great engineering. Okay, so now you see that we have the have the ball freed out of there now. Okay, all right. Okay, this give you a little better shot of that ball. I know it is tough to see, but you can see it's free out of that little slot that we down there in this mechanism. Once you get in there and look, you'll see this. You'll see where the slot is open to the back, this direction there. Okay. Now, the service manual didn't say anything about taking this off right here, but I think it's going to be a little more accessible to get this here, get some more room down in here to work. Also, so let's go ahead. I'm, I'm just going to take this out. It doesn't look like it's that big a deal as far as if it's an unnecessary step. Uh, if it turns out that we really don't need to take it off, we find this out later, you know, I'll just point this out. You know, like I mentioned, I've, I haven't never taken this thing out before, moving this here lock carrier back, so. Okay. Take a note of how a cable is just sitting right up on the top there. Freeze this up a little bit down in there. Okay. Okay. This is uh, this right here is a cable that's going to here to the hood latch, what we had previously disconnected. Uh, this is it's actually pretty good because if you look right here, if you look right down in there, if you look right up in here, maybe hard to see, but right up in there, see if we can point it out. Can you see that? Well, right here, you can you can actually come back here, take this cover out like we just did previously. You can get your hand up in there and just take that ball and lift it right out. Makes it real simple. But I'm looking right now. Now here again is why did the service manual wanted us to disconnect that? Because look, <clears throat> we have all this excess here. It looks to me like this here hood latch could stay in place. And then when this here carrier moves out, we still got plenty of slack here in the cable. So, not sure, not sure what's going on there, but it looks like we got enough slack there for that anyway. Okay, I'm on the passenger side. <clears throat> I'm looking over some of this stuff that's going to be really short when this thing moves out as far as this carrier. I'm looking at this here, headlight assembly on the passenger side, and I'm sure it's the same over there for the driver's side. But you look right here, you can see this thing is very, very short, you know. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, give the, is to free up this here assembly so it can go out further. I'm going to disconnect this here harness over here on the uh, headlight side on the passenger side. If you look right here, you see this clip? Take your screwdriver, just put it right up there in the top right there and then just kind of lean down on it and then just work this thing back off okay now we can see right now we got some room there so let's go over to the driver's side and let's take a look at that one over there okay over here on the driver's side with the uh, headlight assembly looks like we have the same scenario where this harness looks like it might be a little short might be okay but let's just play it safe and let's just go ahead and uh, disconnect this but to remove this I'm gonna have to go ahead and remove the whole battery out so let's go ahead and take care of that right now okay go ahead and get this here cover out of the way we got a hold down clamp down here holding the battery in place, so uh, let's go ahead and take this bolt out. This right here is a 13 millimeter. And that's how he came out, just like that right there. The battery should be ready to come out. But now if you look at the very back back there, you can see there's a lip that this battery is sitting up underneath. So I'm gonna have to lift it forward a little bit. Then we'll just lift it straight up. 
Okay guys, here's uh, more evidence showing that somebody else has been in here. What do you notice right in here? Somebody has broke the plastic latch holding this here connector on. So, looks like we can just probably just pull this thing straight off since there's no catch to hold it in place. Great workmanship, we love it. Okay. Okay, right now, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start loosening these four bolts up. There's two over here and then two bits back over there. So let's just work on them. Loosen these two over here. Okay, these bolts here, these four bolts, there are 13 millimeter heads on them. Now, this carrier should sit on top of the frame rail, so it's not like uh, this thing should just drop if you take these bolts out. Okay, so we can already see that we got it loose right now. All right, let's uh, go up on the top side and let's go up here and loosen these bolts up. Okay, this bolt's here. This bolt right here is a 10 millimeter head. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, I'm just gonna go ahead and take him on out. We're here on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and take that one on out. All right, now Volkswagen offers a, uh, a tool which is basically a, a, a rod that's threaded on the end that you will put on your bottom bolt here. When you take your bottom bolt out, you'll screw this rod in and it'll come out, and I'm not sure for how, how much it is. It's the tool number is 3411. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my own here. But I couldn't make it until we got to this point right now to f figure out what is the bolt size here and what is the thread pitch. All right, I'm going to show you that right now. So what they're looking at is you put in a, a threaded rod in here. It could be an all thread or you can have one that's uh, like a cold roll steel and just thread the end of it. Ideally, I like that. That way it'll slide smooth and trying to sl you know slide over a threaded rod. But uh, I'm probably going to put it out to, I don't know, maybe maybe 12 inches, 12 to 18 inches, something like that. Now, so we're gonna have one right here on the bottom. We're also gonna have one over here, okay? Now here's, here's what we got. So you guys can see this with me. All right, this here bolt, this is the one I took out. Now all four of these bolts are the same thing. This here bolt is a eight millimeter, okay? Eight millimeter diameter, there it is. Go to the next one down, the six, you see it doesn't go. All right, so we know it's an eight millimeter. Now all we need now is the pitch. Now, looking at the thread pitch, found out it is a 1.25. Can you see that? Okay, now we're gonna take this here bolt, gonna lay it right in there. And as you can see, it fits in there perfectly. So that's what I'm gonna work on, is I'm gonna get something made up here so I can slide this thing on. When I get it out here, you know, I think it might be a little bit safer. Could put it on jack stands, put a jack under here, but uh, I think I'm gonna go that route as far as trying to make something for this, okay? All right. Okay guys, I think we'll close this video out. Uh, this give me a chance to work on that tool that I was talking about, and uh, so this will be a good stopping point where, you know, as far as this, uh, what we've done already. So I'll catch you guys in the next uh, shot. We'll have something made, and then we'll continue on with the process of getting this here carry out. All right, you guys take care, and we'll talk to you later.